morning and welcome to the Cisco Sustainable Co-op and Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. It's week 17, hard to believe. Three more weeks left, that's it. And then we do have our fall program, which I think is another five weeks, but only three more Lizzie's Farm Kitchens. Anyway, um, today, as you can see, I'm wearing our new t-shirt. Isn't it awesome? And you can get that on our Farmingo store if you wanted to get one. Okay, I'm super tired this morning because last night I went to the Applegate Lodge and I saw Am Alice D. Maselli, and she's a local uh, musician. If you've never seen her, check her out. She's incredible. So I didn't have a lot of energy this morning for Lizzie's Farm Kitchen, but I came up with an incredible soup. Well, uh, potato leek soup. I actually didn't invent it. But from start to finish, from start to this moment right now, it was a half an hour. So you can do it too. I wanted to talk a little bit about leeks. So I'm going to show you how to cut them up and clean them. Sometimes leeks can be really muddy and dirty. These ones seem really clean. So you cut them the long way and then I uh, turn the faucet on and I just kind of go like that to get all the dirt out although these are fabulously clean. So okay then chop it all up. The onions, the garlic if you want. I didn't use garlic. Carrots, um, onions, oh potatoes. Chopped it all up, put it in the pot with butter, sauteed it for about 10 minutes at the most. Then I simmered it in some stock, or you could use water. It took about 20 minutes for everything to get soft. Uh, you could leave it like that so you can see how I just rough cut everything up. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I take my immersion blender. It's kind of fun. So you don't have to take your hot soup, put it in the blender, it splatters everywhere. These things are great. I also use these sometimes for making um, like strawberry jam start the strawberries cooking, stick this in, and it works really well. And you can, here we go. Ah! Okay, isn't that amazing? And you can um, make it super chunky or super smooth, whatever you like. Okay, then the next thing I did, put that there. This morning, while I was simmering the soup, I made some garlic croutons to put on the soup. It was so super easy. All I did was put butter in the pan, rough cut some garlic, tore up some bread, threw it in there. It took five to 10 minutes on a low heat till it was, I mean, these are gonna be incredible, crispy and crunchy and garlicky. So, here we go. Let's try it. Here's our soup. It's a little chunky, and I like it that way. Some people like it smooth. Then we'll just take some of our croutons, the garlic, and parsley from the box. Boom! 